catch them all <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a world of better magic. So, uh, a week or so ago, GameStop had a uh, crazy sale going on. Um, you could get booster packs for I want to say that it was a dollar twenty-eight a pack. I think it was a dollar twenty-eight a pack. Um, some was a little more. Like I got Core nineteen. I think they was right at two dollars a pack. I was getting them for something like that. Um, they had War of the Spark and, you know, a bunch of other sets, Ravnica, but everything was selling out crazy fast, so that's all I was able to get. Um, I went ahead and tore them out of the boxes because I didn't want y'all to sit through two or three minutes worth of that kind of crap. But the reason I'm showing you that, um, so I was going through, I know this might seem a little silly, I don't know, but if, I don't know if you can see it, but I swear it's like this pack has, uh, super glue on the top of it maybe it's resealed i don't know it's really stiff right here like crazy stiff and it's got this i don't know if you can see it or not it's like it's got glue maybe it's not i don't know i just thought it was odd I wanted to show it so we're gonna open it up um and we'll go ahead and start with it all right well maybe there we go. Not a ton of value in this set at all, really. Um, Agent, still in here. It's a good little card. And a uh, rare land. Not bad. Nothing crazy. Foil piercer. So let's actually slide some of this back a little bit. I didn't make any room here. We're just going to put our uh, commons, rares, mythic. There we go. Let's set our foils up here. Get a little bit situated. I think agents still at like eight or nine bucks though, even after it got banned. That's that's not bad. Still sees play in some other formats, so it'll probably hold a little bit of value. And. Masterful replication. We'll do our uh, core 19 last, I guess. Hopefully, we can pull uh, pull. Uh, I think the most expensive one in there is the Nicobola. There's a mythic, not bad. Mythic Planeswalker, a few dollars. Maybe we can pull uh was it a, cru a crucible i think i think it's like a 20 dollar card a little more value in the core 19 than brought back for rare jungle hollow foil and a treasure token yeah but i've had these for a little while now wasn't able to open we had a lot of box breaks and stuff we was doing goblin ringleader and a lotus field all right not bad at all uh, five six dollars i think it's not a bad pack i actually like the uh, artwork on these packs too soren it's kind of cool and i figured why not go ahead and open a bunch of core packs since uh, core 21 is not far away at all. Shaming Cemetery. Foil Raptor. And a Soldier. Less than a, a month now. What is it, July 3rd? Maybe, if I'm saying that right. I don't remember. I think it's less than a month. Angel and Flood of Tears and an emblem. Not bad. Hmm. 
There we go. We'll get it together here in a minute. Golem and Night Pack Ambusher. It's a uh, fun little card. Seen some play. A few wolf builds out there. Evolving Wilds. Always a, uh, a Joey Moss special there. One second. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. Had to step away for a second. There was a cat I was talking about in the uh, last video was out here. I didn't want a bunch of noise going on, so I let it back in. And tireless, <clears throat> tireless pilgrim for a rare. Dismal Blackwater, Foil Fury, and a Soldier. I'm trying to get situated again, guys. Sorry about that. We might get it. There we go. We're getting there. Empire Dire Moon and Sky Blade for a rare and a Wolf Token. Let's go to this middle. Start in the middle there. Ringleader and a Hydra. Hydras are fun. Um, been working on a uh, commander hydra deck that I have tried it out the other day and it, it had a few issues definitely got to try to get a little more removal put in there but it's getting there uh, Gargos Gar Gar is that what it is? how you say it? my commander hydra spells are four less it's not bad. It's fun. It just needs a little more. Had a lot of fun with that too with uh, Great Hinge and stuff. It's a fun card. And there we go. Not a bad pull at all. Another Mythic. Um, one of the higher uh, price cards. With 10, 12, maybe even a little more. I can't remember. Um, it might be closer, closer to 20. Don't remember. Definitely a good pull. Happy with it for sure. Not bad at all. Still no agents. Curious to see if we'll get one or not, honestly. One or two. Risen Reef. Definitely seen a lot of play. Um, it was a little aggravating for a while, too. And a uh, cage. Also helped uh, shut down a few things recently. And the foil dire moon. Alright, it's not bad. Another wolf token. I actually wanted to build a, a a wolf deck. I just never got around to it. They they honestly look like a lot of fun. Plummet. And tails end for a rare. Field of Dead, a rare land. Not a whole lot of value in some of these. Johnny's Pride Mate. That was fun for a while. There's people still running, uh, playing with the Johnny a little bit. I actually have a build myself with uh, him and Dire Moon and uh, what is that? Bloodthirsty Airlist. 
It's definitely fun. Ley line, not bad. Yeah, it has a, uh, uh, what is that called? Um, Heliod? Yeah, Heliod Sun Crown. The plus one counters with the life, life link. All that good stuff. Or the life gain gets the counters. Definitely fun. A little aggravating. Hand, it's, uh, it's, wow. <coughs> Tongue tied. Executioner. Executioner. There we go. I'll get it out in a minute. And a goal. Totally. Another ringleader and ley line of the void. Another solid pull, some value. Um, four or five dollars, maybe. I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's around that. Could be wrong, like I said, but pretty sure it is. So, will we get it? There we go. Went by the uh, LGS today and picked up a few things. Got uh, two more collector boxes and another solid pull. Not bad at all. Another one of the higher end uh, cards of this set. So we're three Mythics in, two of them Planeswalkers. Not bad. Getting a little better uh, value out of this than I thought I would, Jeff. Especially considering, I mean, Considering I only paid, like I said, a dollar twenty-eight or whatever a pack, definitely getting some decent value back out of this. But the yeah, I picked up and another one. Is that our second one? Yeah, that's our second one for the Sky Dancer. Four Mythics, some foils, land, and a Demon token. Got uh, a Japanese uh, uh, collector box for Aquaria and a. Uh, Japanese draft box of Ikoria. Then I also got uh, an English collector, or yeah, English collector and an English draft box. So I got four boxes total today. And rare land. And a foil. It's a little, little different behind our land, but we got a foil rare. Not bad. Put it, we'll just put it in right here. So should be starting back on uh, and the Cavalier Knight. Another mythic. Some good value, guys. We've definitely pulled our value out of the uh, core 20 here. We got somebody wanting to, uh, I think, do a battle, maybe with a uh, a draft box. Um, still talking about it, not exactly sure. That or he wants a half a box, and me and him's going to uh, split it. Starfield Mystic. I actually had somebody message me, uh, Chris, if I'm not mistaken, it's Chris, uh, needing one of these for a build. I told him give me a day or two till I open these, and I'd get him one. So. There you go, Chris. That's coming uh, to you. But uh, Zach is wanting to uh, split a box or maybe just battle somebody. We're not sure how we're going to do it yet. And uh, roll for the box topper. Legion's End for a rare. And, and a demon token. I'm going to slide, slide these over. Make a little room. I know we don't have much left, but kind of getting in the way a little bit. So do y'all think the uh, cards we're seeing for another, I think that's our third one. One of them's a foil for the Skyblade. And another 
foil rare. I'll sing. Nice to get one of the higher end uh, foil rares. Y'all seen the uh, teasers or whatever? Some of the uh, M21 cards that are out. I know some people saying uh, they don't think they're right because of the set symbol. But I think the uh, the set symbol that everybody's talking about is what are we got? Oh, land. There we go. Got a little mixed up. Uh, was for jump start, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, I would imagine it'd still be the M21 that they've always kind of went with. I don't think it's different. So, definitely a few of the good cards, though, that I've seen that's been, you know, released or whatever. If they're real. Embodiment of Agonies. For rare. And I still stack those up on my big pile, even though I separate them. Foil lockbox. And another wolf token. Opening new products and stuff is uh, Corpse Knight. And there's the Bloodthirsty Airless I was talking about. And the Ley Line of Abundance. Not bad. Foil Splicer. And the Spirit. Yeah, most, I mean, Corpse Knight's haven't really held much value. Um, but I'm kind of curious with the 21 how it's going to do, especially with this being the first uh, Dead Presence, the first uh, collector box for the core set. Curious to see how that's going to go. And I'm not sure um, are there, if they're going to add a box topper. To the draft boxes like they just done with Icoria. I don't know if that's been released yet or not or if I'm behind on it I have no idea but if you know um, Dawn of Dreams let me know in the comments another foil and another emblem two emblems not bad foil land And Tireless Pilgrim. So we've definitely had some uh, duplication here. Um, I mean, it's kind of expected. And another emblem. That's our third one. I think that's two of Chandra. Um, it's expected, though, especially when you're just buying, like, single packs from somewhere and a bunch of them. It's not like just opening up an actual box, I guess. But it's not been bad. I think we've got four or five Mythics, and some of them's the higher end stuff icon for a rare and a wolf token so we got three just three packs of 19 that's all I could get at the time really want to see something big to finish off that's crazy the difference how these feel feel so much different compared to the 20 And Supreme Phantom. All right, nothing crazy. And a zombie. <clears throat> zombie token. Let's finish out strong, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, guys. Keep sharing the uh, channel and join our Facebook group if you haven't. Uh, Desecrated Tomb for a rare. Foil. Pack Beast. Last pack, something big. Let's finish strong. Um, yeah, if you haven't, oh, okay. Um, if you haven't checked out our Facebook group, make sure you uh, you do. That's where all of our uh, upcoming stuff is posted at. And you know, if there's certain boxes you want, you can let me know there. And last one. Here we go. Alpine Moon. All right, so nothing crazy. And a uh, bent thopter to finish it off. A little sad. Nothing crazy um, for those. But we did hit uh, 
some decent stuff in our uh, 20. It's not bad, guys. Some decent value. A little more than I expected, to be honest. A couple foil rares in here. I'm not going to dig them out. But uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Catch us. Uh, it'll probably be tomorrow. I might even do it tonight. I'm not sure. Uh, that uh, box battle. Um, going to be doing some more giveaways also. I know I just keep rambling on. But uh, LGS hooked me up with some more giveaway stuff like they always do. And uh, guys, until next time, stay safe. Thanks for joining us, and I'll uh, catch you later.